Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no ball video. A couple of days ago I posted video of unboxing Bronze Series 9 Pro shaver and now I'm driving it for a week. So there were uh, three or four shaves, I don't remember, and I formed my opinion about this shaver. So stick around if you would like me to describe all honest things, how I feel about the shaver and not what ads on TV or other users that paid for their review telling you about the shaver. So first things first, I'm moving from Brown Series 7 to Brown Series 9. So this shaver I bought around 15 years ago, it served me for 15 years and still in working order. So I think um, if I travel, I may take this one with me just in case if it breaks or whatever, I will have no regrets. This is quite expensive shaver. So the first point, if you are on budget, you may consider other products. This is may not be for you. This is a premium product and it's quite expensive. However, if you got money for it, it's really good shaver. So let's talk about my uh, personal feelings. What's the difference between seven and nine and what has changed in the last nine years? So let's start from the top. Look at the head of uh, series nine and series seven. And it's not about how much stuff they cram in. The head is two times bigger and the other things inside it. But what does it mean? That means I definitely feel that I can shave my face two times faster. Do I need to shave faster? Probably not. But in the moments where your skin is a little bit more sensitive, you reduce the amount of irritation by rubbing less the blade on the skin. So uh, I found it like time saver and definitely can see performance difference. So before I, um, before version nine, uh, I really try to shave uh, when I start uh, kind of itchy or I need to go to meeting. Now I shave at any available opportunity because I'm not saying the shaving is a pleasant affair for me, but unlike this shaver, this one um, really doesn't bother me shaving uh, every day. So really good, I, I really like it. And also the smoothness of the move on the skin is really noticeable. This one never pull my hair or anything, but I could feel slight roughness. And if I'm on day four or five with the hair and I'm not kind of trimming it, I can feel sometimes it's a little bit rough on those hairs. This one really never feel any roughness. It's so smooth. And also when you come to tricky areas like top of the lip, bottom of the lip, chin here, there's a switch here. So on top, it's like general area where it's nice and straight. And then you flip it to the bottom and it goes to your all uh, hard to reach sensitive areas. And it does pretty good job doing that. So from that perspective is really, I can feel difference in precision and smoothness in everything that uh, uh, Series 9 much, much better than Series 7. Now, Bitchery Life, I cannot comment and I think it's gonna be a great one. I'm using it for a week and it's still almost 100%. I never recharge it. Um, I just clean it and cleaning, I think Brown created really good uh, disengagement mechanism when you press two buttons here or two buttons there and foil pops out. So clean was always great in brown and uh, this one's no exception. They just minimize busyness of the inside so the, it's easier to clean with brush. Also the pro version is uh, dry and wet clean. So you can clean under water. It's, um, it's actually designed to be clean under any circumstances. And there's a manual for that. Okay, let's talk about manuals if we're here. This is a thing, um, I guess, negative point of mine and such a sophisticated device I bought and they're giving you manual which has literally no words, I'll show you. They just show in pictures how things should be done, which is all right if you understand completely pictures, but what if you would like to read about switches, about conditions and things like that, so I think Brown need to put a little bit more effort in the manual 
or at least see what those are pictures and click on the link and follow the website and you can actually read about instructions. So while I'm extremely happy about Shaver, uh, I'm really not happy about instructions. Same for the Cradle, I mean Clean Station, allegedly uh, version 9 Pro, the whole idea of this charging and maintenance station to be something superior. I still don't understand how this one is extremely superior compared to 7 because um, to me they, they make uh, produce same function cleaning the shaver and I yet still discover what is so cool about docking station on 9. To me they look the same and performs the same. So I'm not reviewing docking station today because I still need to do uh, extra work and if you know exactly what to expect or tips and tricks put comment uh, on under this video and I read and I try to review it myself but at the moment to me docking station is docking station is just cleaning station nothing fancy about that now um, the whole idea of wireless uh, shaver is to actually I guess travel and be electricity independent so when you're talking about travel look at this my version 9 came with a cheap cheap plastic case like that and while it's functional honestly it's flimsy and every time i bump it it gets open and, and shiver falls out and uh, that's the compartment with for the brush every time i put it in brush was falling out i was not impressed like when you're buying 200 dollars um, in my case, I think I paid 250 because I was the first adopter of uh, uh, Series 7. Uh, the case they give you, it was, and Series 7 was uh, top of the range back then. The case is what was shameful. Now, Series 9 Pro, uh, look at this. First of all, it's really nice to hold. It's not really nice, smooth texture. But if you say, well, it's not about holding, it's about just case for the uh, shaver. Yes, it is. But first of all, can you see that uh, screen? When you put it in, and that case is actually a charging case as well, and one shaver charges, you can clearly see uh, the status of the charging, which is really good. Now, let's open up. Look at this, so you've got a brush that doesn't fall out, it's really cool, it's a fixed. Now you've got kind of holder of the shaver so when it vibrates or whatever it's actually it does not vibrate because it pushes the shaver into the charging dock uh, where two pins need to be firmly attached so you've got that uh, position that firmly holds it and then when you close it it actually snaps in and there's a magnetic field here it actually stays nicely uh, locked so I do like this charging case a lot and to, to be honest, I really appreciate what they've done and I think traveling now with brown shaver would be a much easier job. Speaking of traveling, um, moving from series 7 to series 9 and 15 years apart, I was quite surprised that the charging mechanism and charger itself, it's the same charger. What that means? It means I really... Uh, uh, salute brown that they're trying to reduce e-waste so if you've got previous brown shaver and let's say um, your shaver broke and you're just about to return for recycling or dispose of whatever your choice is you may retain your charger and use old charger on the new shaver so the specs for the charger are the same uh, my previous charger came with a curly kind of wire and it uh, fits neatly and new one is more like usb type with a straight wire it's not usb it's just two pin adapter but what i'm trying to say is do not dispose your old chargers because they are working with the new one so all in all let's talk about uh if i'm happy with my purchase yes I'm happy with my purchase. One thing I would like to uh, bring attention to uh, people before I move on, I'll put links down below to this video where I got my shaver and where I will get uh, spare parts like foils and all of that. Just pay attention when you buy foils. You may say, hey, I've got nine series, I just buy foil. No. So I think the first 9 series was not quite successful. I think it was starting with 92. 
uh, model and then they move to 93 so this is 94 so the clever design of model the uh, model numbering the model that starts with let's say 94 this is your foil uh, number as well so let's say um, I think the shaver is 94 I think 67 or something like that or 69 so the 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 top foil when you buy a spare it should be number 94 it should not you should not search or look for brown series 9 because it won't fit and it will be outdated design it may fit but it won't function well so when you buy spare parts and i put link down below just pay attention to your shaver model family so for example it will be 94 uh 47 69 and so on so 94 is your part number of the foil now let's talk about shaving i'm happy look it's very smooth very nice i just shave um uh, uh, three days i was not shaving my hand grows quite fast i spent literally probably 40 50 seconds quick shave to make this video um no irritation smooth skin don't feel any roughness or any um haze that i missed and series seven i was missing here and there hey i had to kind of move with my palm and feel it nothing like that uh, on series nine so i'm extremely happy with the um, non irritative uh, shaving the precision the carry case and yet to discover docking station so would i recommend uh, uh, series nine bronze shaver yes indeed if you can afford it if not move to series seven the newer one or series 5 they're good as well but if you can afford series 9 I'd suggest go to pro level straight away and you won't regret thank you so much for watching great from Brisbane Australia until next time